hello everyone and welcome to another video and in this video i want to show you how you can insert basically any equipment which you have as an autocad drawing inside the revit by using the dynamo script and over here you can see that i have some autocad with supply return and exhaust diffusers and i did explode those elements so they are not in the block anymore and i did put those uh, supply diffusers into the layer supply. I did put those exhaust uh, diffusers and their lines into the layer exhaust. And of course, I did put all the elements which are related to the return diffuser to this layer uh, return. And, and now we have that AutoCAD file over here inside the Revit. We can see uh, into the ceiling plan or in 3D view. So we don't have any air terminal which is already in our project and now we will use this AutoCAD to uh, recognize those lines and to determine uh, position of uh, those diffusers and this is the entire script basically uh, we have one logic for those diffusers and then because we have three different types of uh, the equipment and we have three different layers. We just did to repeat uh, pretty much the same logic. It is not entirely the same, but it's very, very similar. So first of all, we need to select this AutoCAD. And I think we did it. And over here, we need to recognize all the lines from the supply layer, from the return layer, and from the exhaust layer. Let's run the script. And automatically over here, you can see that we did recognize uh, geometry. So from the supplier uh, layer, we have some number of lines from the return layer also, and also from the exhaust. And now uh, what's the logic uh, for this script and how we did determine the position of those elements? Uh, well, basically, uh, when you have a lot of lines for the single element, my logic was Okay, we will uh, need in this case to determine uh, what is the line with uh, maximum length. Of course, uh, maximum length we will have uh, over here as a diagonal uh, line for supply diffusers. For supply diffusers, we will have uh, two of those lines. For exhaust and for the return, we only have uh, one line, which will be like the line with the maximum length. And then we will recognize those lines uh, and uh, from lines we will go to the middle point. Then we will know what is the center position of uh, those elements. And then we will just choose which uh, family we want to have for supply diffuser, for return and for exhaust. And then, for example, if we turn off now this AutoCAD, we will see that uh, Dynamo pretty fast and very accurately uh, insert those families. So. On, on place where we have supply, where we need to have supply diffuser, we have this family which we determine for supply diffuser. Over here it's return and over here it's exhaust. Okay, we have some number of lines. We did determine the length of those lines. We want to flatten that entire list. We want to round those values because later when we want to find a match, it is, uh, I think, easier and it uh, demands a small computation time when you round those numbers. Now we want to know what is the maximum item. And you will have, in this case, for all supplier diffusers, uh, same symbol. So this uh, length of the line will be same for all those supply diffusers. If you have maybe a couple of types of supply uh, diffusers or if you want to use this uh, uh, script for some other equipment which does not have for the same type uh, same geometry then maybe you will need to find some other way to insert those elements but over here we will have the same length for for the supply diffusers now we want to uh, find all the elements uh, which have uh, this line length for supply diffusers and uh, if you remember for supply diffusers we always have for the one element those two lines so that is why we did go with take every second item basically 
and for return and for exhaust we don't have this node over here because uh, for those symbols we have only one line now we have those elements and those lines so we have 20 elements we will flatten that list and for those lines now we want to find that middle point and we did pick which family we want to use for supply diffuser and now we have everything we have a family type we have the points and now we can insert all those elements it is a very very similar story for exhaust and return lines line uh, length flatten round find which is the element maximum find uh, what is the number of those elements uh, we, we know the indexes we want to took those lines so for the return we have uh, 16 diffusers for exhaust only four we did flatten both of the, those lists uh, we want to find middle points for those lines for return diffuser we are using this family for exhaust this family okay and finally because if we don't change the height uh, of those diffusers all those diffusers will have the height uh, zero so finally i did just merge all those diffusers i did flatten that list and i did change that elevation from level or a uh, height for those elements i did uh, put uh, three meters for all diffusers in this project and overall in a fraction of the second we did create 40 elements uh, so we did very quickly recognize the position from autocad and we did assign proper uh, family types and basically that's it thank you for watching